Well, you'd have to say the crowd played a major part in that Edberg break. And if we were being sporting, then really Wayne McEwen has got to jump on this early because it could get out of hand. I think actually he's handled it pretty well. I think he's almost uh, handled it detrimentally to uh, Edberg because uh, more quickly than anybody else, he seems to jump on the crowd. I think it's a good thing, mind you, because as you say, it could become pretty raucous and uh, uncontrolled. But I think the key has been the fact that Edberg finally has given them a lifeline, has finally given them a song to sing to. And it's certainly been his uh, best spell of the match. He's won eight of the last nine points. And at no other stage of the match has he been in that sort of position at all. So Time. he just needs to give it up and show us a little bit more of that uh, pride. And that's certainly what it was. Pride directed right into his game. Tony Pickard on his feet. Just applauding Stefan as he came near. Please. Lock of Dean. Ladies and gentlemen, as a courtesy to the players, please do not call out in, in between first and second serves. Thank you. Fourteen fifteen. Credit to Goran Ivanisevic. Six all. That's a tiebreak. He played an extremely good game. Found his rhythm again on his serve. And then decided to skirt it on a tiebreak. Yes, I don't think any two games have gone by as we look at their tiebreak records uh, without Ivanisevic serving an ace, so it had to come sooner or later. Nisovic incidentally lost the first tiebreaker of the year. He played against Todd Martin in Sydney and then had a tremendous run where he won tiebreaker after tiebreaker. One zero. Ivanisovic. The double fault returns for Stefan Edberg. He gives Ivanisovic the first mini break. One love. it right back. Please. Two, one, even Isovic. We saw earlier in the match even Isovic looking to serve volley quite a bit and looking to take the net. But of course, he's then uh, reverted to his old game, but it's been such a dramatically good old game that he's not looking to try and uh, get to the net before Edberg does.
there's the flexibility of the man. Dropping his right hand off the racket and flicking that cross court. Two hour mark just coming up. Please. change of ends there's nothing to choose between them yes and the eagle eyed amongst you might have spotted that the clock had already shown two hours they must have turned it black just to show the two hour mark coming up kept his head pretty well now this is just where Edberg has got to get first serves in he doesn't want to test the double fault five three oh, Ivanisevic Twenty-fifth ace from Goran that gives him his second match point. Oh, oh some point. Well, this is vintage, really, and just uh, incredible courage by the man because that was a terrifically good uh, two-hander from Ivanisevic. Set point, Edberg. Seven all.
Well, he had some drama earlier with Sampras. This tie break is matching it. You can probably tell that he won that point by that crowd's reaction. Beautiful balance as he played that, really sliding into it. Fourth match point for Ivanisvic. I don't think I've seen a better forehand return of the serve hit so hard in this championships. Well, this is quite astonishing and almost painful to watch Ivan Isovic at match point do his, uh, I'm going to say, level best. But what a shame, almost swiveling and slipping in his own perspiration. But one can't blame him. What a shot. It's the third time they've changed ends, and it's 9 all. Ten nine. Ivan Isovic. He won his tiebreaker against Hendrik Drakeman here in the uh, preceding round. 13-11. Well, you have to say that the best man has won tonight. Goran Ivanisvic is very pleased with his performance, a good, solid performance. But Stefan Edberg, well, what a champion. 41 titles to his name, over 1,000 career wins, six Grand Slam titles and one of the best players that we've ever seen. He'll be sorely missed. Ivan Isovic, well, very, very aggressive after that victory. There's Stefan's wife in the red. But he's kept his anger in check tonight, Goran. And that's why he probably played so well. Well, it's particularly meaningful for him, of course. And he really played an outstanding match. Edberg just faltered, perhaps didn't string enough uh, shots together. But I think rather fitting that if Edberg should bow out like this to, in a major, he should perhaps go out to the man, the best man yet not to have won a major title in Ivan Isovic. And on this sort of form, I wouldn't put it past him to go on and win. So that last quarter final, completes the men's semi-final lineup. It's Sampras versus Ivanisevic and Agassi versus Chang. We're back tomorrow at 2.30, or sorry, we're back later 